All right, guys, Black is here. And the guy finally got here. Um, a little bit after my barber got here. He's driving the Honda Odyssey. And he is quite pissed at me. It's my fault. He's pissed because I was showing the car to my barber. He had the driver's door open, right? So I'm thinking if the driver's door open, it's not going to matter if I open anything else. Well, I opened the driver's side back door and I was showing it to her and we walked around on the passenger side and I opened the passenger front door and the freaking alarm goes off. He went to cursing in whatever freaking language he's speaking. And I asked him after she left how much time did I add because I know that if you, you know, mess something up, you have to start all over. He told me 30 minutes, he claims. Well, he charged me $400. Um, if he don't increase the price, I'm going to give him 430 for my F up or whatever. If he increased the price, I'm not going to give him anything because he told me 400 But whatever. Um, he made it clear to me. He's like, what's wrong with the car? You do know what's wrong with the car? Because I don't want to make a key. If the car don't crank, dude, I bought the car at the auction. I don't know what the hell's wrong with the car. You're not responsible for that. And I'm not going to blame you if the car don't crank. I just want to be able to, if, if, if he made the key right, the key should go in, the switch should come on, and the windshield wipers, windows let down. If that works, I'm assuming he made the key right. I'm assuming because I don't think that key is supposed to turn or letting this right key in there. I don't think, but we'll find out. I'll let y'all know. This is going to be part three of my 2007 Mercedes C350 formatic. In case you don't know, I bought this car for $800 at a police impound auction um, almost a week ago. Looks pretty good, right? This side is the pretty side. This side is not so much. That damage was there when I bought it. It's a little worse because when it rolled off the uh, trailer, the tower flat and the bumper hit the trailer. Also, it bagged into my air compressor, scratched that, blew out the tire. These are the worst dry rider tires I've ever seen. I'm guessing this side of the car was facing the sun and it dried out the tires. Anywho, when we left off, I was talking about how I took the floor mats out, the original floor mats, and it left a bunch of black carbon stuff on the carpet. Um, I made a video showing you how to clean it, but I accidentally erased the video. But basically, do not rub the vacuum clean across it because it's going to leave marks like this if you notice that part is a lot cleaner i just helped ezel i just found out the owner of this car is named ezel uh, i can't remember this, the full name i wonder is it in point on this anywho yeah so just if you have this a mercedes like this and he left screws $450 and the mother father leaves screws. He left screws. <sighs> Anywho, those screws are not there because I vacuum out the seat. But anyway, yeah, hold the, the um, vacuum clean on top of the carpet stuff and then let it suck it out the carpet. Do not rub it across. If you do, it's going to leave marks like that. All right, left off last time, I said there was a quarter about the quarter this one had the stuff also but as you can see I cleaned it out let me slide this seat up hey the seat works hey there's something else right there ouch damn it
Juicy crab. Hot damn. All right, that's all I was saying. Oh, I found the owner's manual. I got something to show y'all about the owner's manual. Why people are going to love this? I know how y'all get a kick out of seeing, hell, I'm like the owner's manual, not just the owner's manual, but it's got all the books for the car, all the different books. What y'all gonna get a kick out of is this. I know how y'all white folks love to see the window sticker. This car in 07 cost $44,425. Option equipment was $1,460. Um, entertainment package, CD charger, CD, CD changer, Harman Carmen 320 watt, 12 speaker, Logic 7, surround sound system, Sirius satellite radio, phone pre-wired then 1790 for a sunroof package glass roof power rear sunshade what garage door opening auto dimming left side inside review mirror hot damn but anyway the car get 19 city 24 highway this is 3.5 V6 with 268 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. This thing is making 258 pound feet of torque from 2400 to 5000 RPMs. It's five speed automatic. I can't wait to drive this thing. Speaking of driving this thing, the guy came and made, made a key on a Sunday, all right? I didn't think he was going to come. People kept saying he was going to come, but it took forever to get here. Well, he finally actually came. He charged me $400. I, I ended up paying him $480. Let me explain to you why. It was $400. My barber was here, and I wanted to show her the inside of the car. He had the driver's door open while he was downloading the computer whatever. So I assume it wouldn't hurt if I opened the passenger front door. I open the passenger front door, the alarm goes off. He lose his crap. Started cursing in Egyptian or whatever. He says he's from Egypt or something. He calls some city, I can't pronounce it. Anywho, he said I added about 30 to 40 minutes to his service. So he charged me an extra $50, whatever, man. I ended up giving him a $30 tip because I didn't want him to think the black folks are broke, which a lot of us are not, but a lot of us are kind of, I ain't going to say that. Anyway, um, so he made a key for $480. I got a key made. And he started the car up. Yes, the car runs. And when he started the car up, the car was cranking. It cranked for like five three or four, five seconds, something like that. And when it lit up, the valves were rattling, well, the, the lifter was rattling like crazy. And I said, uh-oh, uh, it's a bad motor. And as soon as I said, uh-oh, uh, it's a bad motor, the lifters quiet down. This damn engine run like a sewing machine. Oh, by the way, there was no smoke at all. Condition does not work either that I don't know how to cut the damn thing on. As you can see, it runs like a sewing machine. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you. After he left, 
I started up, put it in reverse, it backed up. I put it in drive, it went forward. Now, that don't mean the transmission is good. You know, it could be a bad sensor or something. I haven't driven it yet because it's got two flat tires on the passenger side. I ordered some tires online. They're supposed to came yesterday. They didn't. So I can't drive on until the end. I just started up and it has a battery light. So I'm assuming the alternator is bad. It's got a brand new battery. Um, I didn't tell y'all the kicker. Y'all ready for this? You see how nice the interior you look? Let me show you the interior one more time before I tell you how many miles on the car. I want y'all to guess. This is the interior of the car. You know, people always gotta waste coffee. Ignorant sons of bees. It's a little tear right here, but the seat is fairly decent. I don't know what the hell going on with that. The radio does work. Look at the back. All right, y'all ready to hear how many miles on this thing? I don't know. Has it been turned back or what? But the dash has got 73,000. The engine looks dirty i mean not dirty but it looks old like it's got 170 some thousand but as you can see you know i haven't smelt the exhaust but and to be honest with you, i've never let it ran for more than about three or four minutes but uh it's got oil in it it's it's a little low but it's got oil in it. it's black 73,000 guys. Oh, I forgot to show y'all the trunk. Y'all ready for this? Check out the trunk. And I have not cleaned the trunk out. I have not cleaned the trunk out. But as you can see, it's got that on it. You know, I can probably take my vacuum cleaner and vacuum that out. So guys, I bought a 2007 Mercedes 350, I'm sorry, C350, 4Matic. By the way, if you don't know, 4Matic means all-wheel drive. Yes, this is my first all-wheel drive vehicle I've ever owned. Now, I've had a four-wheel drive Tahoe, but I've never had an all-wheel drive vehicle. And you know I want to take it in the backyard. You know I want to take it. I, I, I want to take it in the backyard. But like I said, I got to, hopefully I get my tires, but I'm probably not going to get them. I mean, if I get them today, I got to go to work, so I'm not going to be able to put them on. But still, $800 for a 2007 Mercedes C350 with 73,000 miles. Little body work, little damage. Not even worth talking about. I just hope it shifts okay. Like I said, it's got a battery light, so I'm guessing it needs to alternate. But why was the car sitting wherever it was sitting? No, I don't know if it was an apartment complex or what, but it was impounded. $175. The guy never went and got the car. Uh, like I said, his name was Ezel something. I don't even think I got anything that plays a CD. Is he some rapper or something? Hell, I thought I, I was thinking it was a female. The whole time I was thinking it was a female. But, um, I'll let y'all know when I get some tires on here. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them.